Hello, today we will try to cover the topic therapeutic Tai Chi. Uh, this basically is about the relation between Tai Chi and your wellness. Okay, because when you talk about therapeutic, you, you think about preventive medicine, you think about maintenance of your condition, your wellness, right? Uh, so, this is a forever. Uh, continuing of your awareness. Then, when you already get in, into problem, then you start looking for medication. Uh, and Tai Chi exercise is considered as moving medication. Uh, in the past, people say Tai Chi exercise is a moving meditation. Now, it's now upgrade to moving medication. So actually, all the exercise are like nutrition. Uh, you don't exercise right, just like you eat unbalanced food, you know, uh, I mean, uh, not the right food combination, then you get sick. Uh, and then we talk about uh, all kind of problems occurs when you did not uh, maintain your awareness okay uh, properly, then you have a mental problem, you have uh, physical problems. Now, today we're going to introduce a few exercises for you to try uh, to pick up and uh, experience. But first, mental one is very important to understand how you can use Tai Chi to keep yourself balanced. In Chinese medicine, to be balanced is the key of uh, being healthy. Okay, they think about Qi inside your body and they have a uh, meridian lines and Qi is flowing everywhere. And when some meridian line is in shortage or flooded, then you got problem. So the solution is try to make them balanced. So you need a regulator like water then uh, to regulate the waters. So your dantian, okay, uh, that is your key uh, essential you know, control point of your qi. That is the regulator. So uh, when you use acupuncture to help you to flow, make the qi flow smooth and balance each other, that's a healing activity but if you do by yourself try to use your mind your intention your mind and then and then let your breathing breath control go with the mind toward some place that you feel uh, you need a chi to help they said when a chi doesn't go cannot go through there's a pain occur there's problems then you need to make them smooth circulate smooth then the, the mind and the flow of your, your, your air, the chi, work together, plus if you also move your body, your, your muscle, then they create what? The so-called moving meditation, all right? In Chinese terminology, the breathing control with the mind is called xing qi, the walking, the moving of the chi, in the way your mind and your movement help to drive the chi. But, the movement itself could be also named as what Taoyin. Taoyin means what the movement is led by some intention and that is controlled from joint. So Xing Qi, Taoyin, these two together is the key content of a Qigong. Okay? A Qigong has two two, two uh, categories. One is called what? Internal, one is called external. Internal mostly referred to still stationary one. And the more chanting with the meditation, you know, without movement. Now, some could be uh, slight movement, but not big scale movement. And then external one will emphasize the movement, exercise with the moving, you know, uh, chi and then your, your, your attention control all together. And that has a lot of detail. So when you learn a technique in Tai Chi, you have to watch if you control these three aspect together, you know, to make it work. So in Chinese it's called Tiao Xin Tiao Qi Tiao Shen. Uh, tiao, tiao means regulate. Shen means body. The posture, the, the movement had to be in the right position. And the Tiao Qi means what? The regulating of your uh, breathing control, your breathing. Then the breathing, speed, power, okay, and then continuously. All this manner had to be uh, watched. And then the last one, Tiao Xin your mind, and that includes your knowledge, and your 
your attitude, your, 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 your understanding, everything. So these three together is called Sankyo, the three regulation, and it's called internal three combination, Nei San He. Okay, these are uh, very common knowledge, you know, in Chinese martial art or um, movement, uh, meditation uh, practitioners. So when you talking about theatric Tai Chi, means uh, you are compliant with the Tai Chi philosophy and principle and use that to make your body balanced, spiritually, mentally, physically, you know, and also in behavior, life, you know, lifestyle, everything. And then you achieve uh, the outcome of awareness. That means uh, in harmony in your life. Okay, in Chinese we said, Tian Ren He Yi. Okay, Tian means outside world, you know, including everything in the universe. You, you are part of it, and then you should be uh, in harmony with that. Once you are in agreement with this outside world, including control your, yourself in harmony, then you're a happy man. Yeah, that's called awareness. And important thing is that to be in work situation, you also need to go up, need to be continuing, uh, continuing. You have to be able to sustain forever. Uh, in Chinese, that's the highest level of your life pursuit is ten tong shou. You live as long as the universe lives. Because for the for the people pursuing that forever me mortal life is you are part of the universe. You are existing forever. And you might be in a different form, uh, like convertible you know, creature, but you're supposed to be what? Staying in the universe forever. So when you are in this life, Let's say you are alive, you should watch how to maintain balance in harmony with your outside world. And that that's in harmony, not including the activity, but also inside your knowledge, your body, your knowledge, and your uh, thinking. So it's called what? The eight petals. Okay. It's called awareness concept. You are covering all the aspects of your life. Let's see. There's eight petals, four within yourself, four is you and the outside world interacting. So you can say four is in, inside. The other one is young, outside. You have to be able to balance within yourself and with the outside world or outside you know, uh, parties. Okay, so you can look into this information later on. But I'm just saying that wellness is not just physically. It's in good all aspects of your life. So I have think about this before. It's including physically healthy and uh, intellectually, you know, fit and also uh, spiritually, you know, comfortable. Okay, and then emotionally regulated. This for internal. And then it in, in between inside and outside, including what? Interpersonal. Yeah. You and your social uh, activity, everything, that should be fit. And then next one is financially fit. And third one is your uh, environmental, environmental fit. Yeah, including where you work, where you live, you know, how you arrange your uh, your environment. And last one is vocationally fit. So all these eight together, like eight petals, all beautiful, is a very is a very good flower. And all these petals have to be balanced, therefore Tai Chi become what? The center. With Tai Chi philosophy of a balance, balancing in harmony and control to you know opposing force means the differences to achieve safety, secure, that is your management. And you do that in every aspect. Today, uh, we want to do more for technique. The first technique that when you do the meditation, movement meditation, is you have to know how to keep your body what? righteous, okay? And now, uh, look, pursuing this, perfect way to do meditation in movements and also use as a therapy, you want to know 
the wave is wave is low also tau is 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 the the truth Japanese is called to okay that's in daily activity everything follow the truth is called you will follow the to that's why there's what uh, tea to drinking tea in the right way and then bushito or martial art you know karate to taekwondo judo okay and then it start from keeping yourself in healthy you know the lifestyle and your thinking pattern right and this can change character the way tao means the road also the truth and look at this that's the character came from this one head with hair you know? that's this character over the head and they combine compound the word with this this like action moving around without what without direction so when this one this one together that become the way so now you're going to do your action with what theories and with purposes and then you get to the right final destination and deep a uh, healthy life okay so these are theories now we'll, we'll come to uh preventive medicine of tai chi first that you understand the philosophy you can avoid a lot of trouble many things you should try to uh, more or less like a, a preventive and also anticipate but what monitor, monitor your situation and then stay in the right right you know uh, this is condition all the time avoid getting worse but to be able to maintain it in a good position you need a uh, constantly do something just like you fly throwing in the water the river does against you you have to move if you don't move you go back up so it's important that you host also keep up with your uh, let's say your condition and then certify uh, whatever is needed to do and then that's called uh, the world is continuing okay uh, that's also how you maintain uh, this situation that is many uh, uh, demand such that you need to do a, a regular uh, activity to to keep yourself fit and then you have to have a nice uh, design and lifestyle uh, to make them balanced all this that's uh, that will keep you in healthy situation and then prevent one you have to have this kind of a understanding and then you can conduct this so this all preventive and in preventive medicine also including what you should know skill technique when you are in the water you can you know keep yourself above the water with the head to ask for help at least okay and also when you land to the ground extensively you fall down you're going to know how to protect yourself by using some principle in tai chi that means uh, you can be what yielding the impact instead of getting hurt okay these are skills you should learn and then we will come to uh, the remedies okay that we have uh, uh, different kind of uh, categories some are for mental some are for physical discomfort mental uh, they have some problems they have stress anxiety uh, insomnia or oh, depression all kind of things okay and these can be helped by searching for some some truths in your life philosophy okay and then religious and our belief and then speculation you know how to be balanced and most important when you use a meditation exercise you make yourself come down relax and then from the meditation you will think about the answer of your questions okay that be profound now when we talk about uh, taking care of those uh, stress or this one we will do some exercise to help you to relieve your your tense and then make you cool down and focus on your center and then eventually you become uh, clear in your mind and then become relaxed and then start find a solution for yourself you know, to take care of your problem especially for those uh, sleepless you know there's something I have many students 
uh, after they learn those exercises, breathing exercise, and some movement, it's you know, overcome. Okay, and uh, there will be some exercise for dealing with visual discomfort. First one is impaired balance because of lack of a strength in your the leg or coordination or your posture not right kept. Then there's action falling down. So you have some exercise from Tai Chi to help you to prevent it from falling or of improving your stability or balance. Then we have a different kind of a kind of exercise for different problems like upper limb, lower limb, or let's see, uh, in, internal one, chronic disease, or arthritis, etc. Okay, and then today we will introduce part of uh, these solutions. So in order to make your movement become meditative exercise and also become meditative medication, you have to understand how to you do your med meditation. Okay. The meditation, you have to consider that your chi is inside yourself is there all the time. And then you want to control or you want to make it be balanced. You need to do something, okay? Let's say uh, you do the exercise and your mind go with it and make it move and in the right path. So there's a path where your chi, your main your attention go and it combine with the movement that make it stimulate, okay? And number two is uh, you have to know how, how, how hard you breathe, okay? To, to, to be matching your movement. For example, you're jogging, uh, run fast, you gotta breathe fast, okay? That's why you do a meditation for internal problem, you usually want still or slow motion. Uh, you do, a, uh, let's say you do a, a rapid exercise, you cannot do meditation properly for mental problems, okay? Now, uh, the postures, when, when you are sitting or you're standing to do meditation, you need to in, in, in keep your spine in alignment straight. It's called the alignment of three times ten. The upper, middle, lower. This one upper, middle, lower portion is in alignment. And then when you breathe and you think about your chi is running through uh, your whole spine, it's called uh, the minor, minor, you know, um, let's see, uh, ob orbit, okay, minor uh, cosmic orbit. And then you do the green one, it's called uh, Marco. Uh, so the orbit is kind of Marco, uh, the, the kind of universe, that one. So this means the scale. This sitting is only take care of the spine. That's called it, uh, a cosmic, you know, minor cosmic orbit. And then you go big, it's Marco. Uh, Marco orbit, okay. So, if I'm standing up, then I want to consider I'm doing the whole body, you got a Marco uh, uh, cosmic orbit, and then I would control my, my chi from fingertip to toe, and it's regular from here. So every move I do, I make sure that my finger is under control and my toe is well planted. Yeah, instead of just uh, scattered everywhere. So that means your chi is controlled uh, by you, for in whole body. If I sit in, Okay, or standing, now that are sitting, or call your leg, then we'll be taking care of more spinal. And then that will be upper, middle, low. So you have to understand. Uh, you keep your whole body upright, and then in alignment, the chi flow smooth. So if you go like this, then definitely you're not so effective, okay? And then you control the breath is you need to make it continuously flowing and no interrupted, and then what? In rhythm, okay? Not changing your pattern. So you become calm and you, you get more sensitive and then you affect your every muscle, everything what? In uh, control completely. So you try that if my hand is soft and I can feel my, my joint all relaxed because it's soft. If I'm hot, then it's tighten, then the chi will be blocked, okay? So the first thing you learn is how can you stand the posture 
relax and bend your knee and then torso straight, chin back, eye look forward and keep your feet shoulder width apart, very natural with this and arm in front of you, your chest parallel to the ground and knee bent so you can fold your pelvis okay and then you become a, a straight line you you're from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head and uh, express your fingers you can see i control my, my whole body chi bro properly and if i close my eye but focus on my center four fingers below your navel and tip of tongue touch your roof just stationary stay this way and make sure that your intention uh, arrive to the fingers into your tip so you don't go like this or go like this or this it's regulate circle shoulder loose here point away to make it point in like embrace a column of chi and then knee open toe open but not wide open it's just keep it parallel and just like upper middle and lower circles holding the column of chi Then you can feel the arm seems like a swollen, a little tingling, tingling, and there's chi. Okay, then this this feeling is clearly when you complete it, and then just brush your hand, your arm. You can feel the heat. Okay, this heat, this kind of uh, energy can be used for. Oh, rush it, wash your face, comb your hair, uh, relax. But this is an easiest one, it's called uh, this, uh, the three circle stance. And then from here, you start to do the movement to create an energy flow. And then to help some problems, uh, some uh, blood blockage of your, your chi in your body. So the first thing you're gonna do is starting from your, your center your waist. If I'm still and then my waist start moving, let's see. I'll do left and right here, turn and turn. And then when I do the movement, I make the motion matching what well, the speed and the intention together. Let's see, I go, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. All the time, my breath is deep, slowly. Okay, it's continuous and it's gently. So the motion matching with speed of your breath. You go breathe fast, that's quick, right? It's too slowly. And you control every part. This is one joint, the waist, big one. Then, when you move away, you got a ribs, you got a shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingers, everything can be added. So is below your waist, knee, toes, ankles. So let's see, you can start with this exercise. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and then you can add some part of the body. So from here to here to here, you go like this. Oh, can you see that? I'm opening my chest and I raise my elbow and my wrist and my fingers. Okay. And then you can see I am what? I'm drawing two circles. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay. This movement is called what? Waving hand like a cloud drifting by. The cloud on the top level move to here and then move down and then move up and then move down and the other hand what make up when this go go from here to here this go down up so they replace and become what always together 
either this way or this way or this way okay this is a very simple example no, it's called crown hand waving in a crown so for people who want to do mid heavy exercise in Tai Chi or stress reduction this is a good one you know why all they have to do is just centerize and then start what moving the fingers yeah, from the wrist yeah and breathe in breathe out you know one more breathe in breathe out breathe in, breathe in breathe out, so what's the call, right breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and if they want to feel the chi they can do this exercise close in they feel heat and then pull away and then again each time they change the position and the hand loose not to stiff stiff you, you cannot uh, direct the chi be uh, active so you go this breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and then you do the big motion you breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out now you can see my whole body make my limbs move and this is a very simple simple and relaxed very simple relaxed and this motion used in Tai Chi a lot this is is a kind of a self-defense motion okay block 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 and then you get movement to be in action yeah then this is called what moving side to side yeah one side to the other side and even turn around yeah turn around uh, okay so circular motion is a key technique in everything in Tai Chi you know, skill the circular motion create what created uh, the rock that you can absorb the opponent's attack and return because you return it circular if you just go straight you only probably only just avoid get away but you want to combine the pull power so when you are counting each other you want to be relaxed and then connect and follow all right it's called zhan nian nian shui move on to it stick with it and then follow it and what and then uh, all the way to the end so that means that you are like become a shadow okay now when you do this kind of movement you're very relaxed so instead of uh, like a other uh, fighting style they want to be strenuous tai chi people is cool yeah they just anticipate what's coming up and then feel it and then borrow it the force and return and try to achieve uh, achieve balance so everything you do will be this manner sensitive following circular cycling then you become safe all right so uh, for the first category uh, of a discomfort mentally I will introduce you to do uh, stationary one and then start doing this circle arm and rotate your uh, turn your your, your pivot ways and then eventually you rotate your knee and then you can what you can add weight shifting and then even steps but one thing at a time first feel your chi relax and then feel the motion and the chi flow work together you know convenient very smooth and then become relaxed and then you can change into the next movement which is more uh, effective in making your stress flow disappear which is what instead of going like this is go this way look at that this figure in A yeah, join the uh, uh, Arabian you know, letter 8 uh, number number 8 and then both hands look at that curve and curve up yeah and then there's like an orchestra conductor okay go down go up and both hands uh, making two circles one on top one below and then they, they return to the back and down and up and when they go together that is a technique called what? called water rolling back water rolling back the change side yeah water rolling back water 
Nuremberg, okay? And then the whole unit of this so-called what? Grasping Spanish tail is water, loaded back and pulled down in the shoulder, elbow attack and press forward and block and push. Okay, and the other side. Water, palm, knee, loading back, shoulder, elbow, forearm, and then block, push, and Kung Fu. Okay? So for the first category, we have a few techniques uh, that can be effective for helping you to get rid of a stress and uh, solve, solve your problem, solve your problem with this uh, insomnia. And I found that it's the most effective is catching, you know, the bullet. Okay, that's very effective. And you can do stationary or you can do station, you know, without, uh, let's see, complete the whole form, you just do one, two, and change side. Or you can do the whole thing. Okay, that's, as you progress, you can uh, add more complicated motion. But then we're going to control, uh, introduce your second category that is impaired balance. If you do Tai Chi in the right way, that means you can focus your mind in your center. So every part of your body, just like it, your fingers all follow your palm. They are all what? Well coordinated, okay? And the movement is synchronized. Then the waist is the boss, yeah? The rest of the body is following it. The rest body, okay? You know, whatever you do, you always control your waist. And that's already a good start. Next one is alignment. Your posture always are upright. Like don't go like this, go like this. You always balance. It doesn't matter if you're turning or you're back and forth, or even you go down, you keep your knee bent but your body straight. You don't do like this, okay? And so you're walking in the street, you don't walk like this. You walk straight and raise your knee instead of going uh, without control for your waist. The waist, yeah, this is the way to do it. Okay, control from here. Then, next one is shift your weight gradually from one leg to the other leg with a waist control. All right? So, if you do this way in technique, uh, or most type of technique, again, you find out you really is controlling your weight one and another. Let's see, I'm going to fall, I step, Forward, and then I move forward and I close and I go. Okay, so all and not always one leg, then reach out and then all the way to the other leg, and this leg off, and then another one. Okay, that's why we conduct Tai Chi. You find that it's soundness, soundness. Okay, there's, there's no stepping on the ground. Uh, so we have a Beginner's technique, going forward, going back, all train your control of your weight distribution and your stability. And virtually all Tai Chi technique in the beginning stage, you do this way. For example, you do waist first tail, you do step, small step, and what? And look, small step, this. And you do a big step, let's see, a party white horse man, and you do big step. Okay, and again, still what? Still is not lift your leg height, but also stay low, stay low. So that's why some people call Tai Chi as shadow boxing, because when you move, there's no sound. You, you hold your weight all the time. In reality, Tai Chi for action, then a template, <laughs> you'll be gliding, high hopping, jumping, that is for uh, different purposes. But for Tai Chi for relaxation, for healing, you're supposed to do this way. Unless you do cardio Tai Chi, okay? Uh, we'll touch cardio Tai Chi later on. Now, for balance, as I said, all technique in Tai Chi can help you improve your balance. But there is one very uh, easy to, to get these techniques, you know, a fully control that is called what? Open the window to build the moon. What you do is that you keep yourself feet apart, shoulder width apart, that is very natural, apart under your knee, keep your torso straight, tuck your stomach in and pelvis forward, 
tailbone to top straight, that's righteousness, okay? Then you rotate your knee, one leg to the other leg, and then body stretch, knee rotate, don't knock the other leg, just almost, lot, you go back. So always what? Always a smooth movement, yeah, back and forth. And technique, this one called open window. What you happen is, what happen is you, you inverse your arm here, like an inverse ball, we call inverse moon, and then when you shift away here, you will raise the bottom hand, okay, as you push it forward, and the other hand with the toe turning and the hand pointing to you, okay, just you are like opening a window which has a hinge uh, on the wall and the window hang out here, you push it out and look into the moon, all right, so the posture is from whole stance into a so-called bone arrow because that way is using your back leg to push your weight, your power forward. You're from arm straight, neck straight, push out. And this hand, bend your leg and bend your arm to open the window, look. And then shift your way back, turn, and then the other side. Okay? And then when you do the movement, you'll be close your leg and reach out, center and open, push, and then the other side, here, step, center, open, push. With a breathing, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale. Okay. As soon you are breathing and your movement is matching, then you become smooth. And there's a general rule. When your motion is wide open and opening, ready out, you usually take in the air, like breathing. When your motion is closing and sinking, you exhale. And breathe in, exhale, and inhale, and breathe in, exhale. In, out, in, out. Okay, so if somebody uh, need to help the, the balance, you can help them to this one first. Just side to side, side to side, open one, and come back, and then open two, and come back. All right? This is called open the window to build a moon. If you find this too hard, then you can do this. All right, then this go like this, but then what? Here, and come back here, and come back here, step, here, step. See that? Breathe in and breathe out. That's when you conclude. So you can tell this is the easiest way to improve your balance because each time, depending on your ability, you reach out and to get weakness, and then you shift away gradually, upper body straight, and then you change angle, and you double jump, and then you shift your way forward, and then you close leg, and then low down, reach out. So this itself is already what? It's a good training for maintenance of your balance and develop your strength on your leg. The other technique, that's more demanding, but that can be later for people who uh, who want to add more training on leg strength development and flexibility improvement. Okay? All right, now we have a stretch part and the balance part, and then the physical comfort, discomfort. We have upper limb, lower limb, uh, and also some internal problems. That, with a certain kind of exercise, you can help. Uh, to stimulate, stimulate your, your meditation to effectiveness. And that part, I think we will do uh, next class uh, to introduce you some uh, recommended technique. Virtually all technique can help if you do the right meditation method and go with the movement, the rhythm, the speed, power, and rocking, your mind and uh, your mind and your your breath control all join together to go to the routing you want uh, to help you to get rid of the discomfort part. Okay? All right.
uh, I hope this has sufficient amount of material for you to work on uh, for a few days and the next, next one we will continue uh, introduce some examples for physical discomfort and they are all associated with the joint mostly and some internal one will be very, very uh, uh, in general. Okay, all right, I'll see you next time.